that is if you create a particular route email address within salesforce your customers will be able to send email to that particular address and automatically a case will be getting registered within your salesforce system there are multiple advantages with this approach like users they don't need to log into your system and register cases and in most of the case what people are doing in their uh, public website they will be uh, creating a normal email address like company at support.com something like that and that email address emails that we are sending to that particular email address can be automatically routed to the email address that we created as part of email to case then this will get processed and automatically case will be getting created the advantage another advantage is that you, we will be able to measure the case interaction details like how many inbound and outbound emails has got exchanged between the customer and the support agent before the issue is closed and you will be able to create multiple routing address that you can distribute as part of different operations another advantage is that all assignment rules escalation rules or workflow rules everything will get executed as part of normal email to case process also in addition to this users will be able to send attachments like so there if there are some issues uh, they will be able to add some attachments and that will be also getting added to the case now let us see how you will be able to create or set up email to case let us go to setup and look for email to case under service you can see email to case option Uh, and there are some basic settings that you need to do that is initially you need to enable email to case feature now there is something that you need to take care that is once you enable email to case you cannot disable it there are two options by which you will be able to create email to case you will be seeing that later one is only one and one is standard email to case uh, for standard email to case actually you need to uh, download and install email to case agent behind your network's firewall so we are not going by that op option now we will be utilizing on day on on demand email to case and there are some other issue settings like you know what you need to do if unauthorized sender is sending an email those kind of settings you will be able to do and uh, additional settings like notify case owners on new emails enable html email set case source to email by default that is automatically whenever we are getting a new case from email the source will be set as email by default then this option is what i was mentioning like you will be able to save attachments that is coming as part of your case into case uh, save source files once the basic setup is done here you will be able to see where uh, how you can create a new routing address for email to case you can click on new and create a name or uh, something like a uh, protect support so all the um, product support related issues you can give a specific email address and you also need to mention an email address to be associated with this particular process so i am giving my own email here if you want to create a task also from the email you can select this option and you can also set up a by default owner for this for now i am setting it as my own user what should be the case priority of email to case functionality that you can mention here and case origin like we mentioned by default it is going to be email let us save this so it's showing an error, error that the email to case routing email address must be different than the default uh, case owner's email address so i'm just giving a dummy email here for now and let us save this this is the email service address now 
like i mentioned it's not easy to utilize this uh, or it is not good to publish this email address in your public websites instead like we mentioned you can create a normal support email address utilizing your email provider or email service which your company is utilizing and you can have a, a by default routing or forward notification from that particular email address to this particular support email so that automatically cases can be created for now let us utilize this particular address itself and try to send a new email and see if cases are getting created i am composing a new email message and giving uh, to address us the new email that we just created. Request. I'm giving it as demo. This is a and details. You can mention about your problem like, you know, uh, battery of new laptop is not working something like that you can mention let us add an attachment also to see if it is working and let me send this we can go back to our cases go to all open cases here you can see a new case got created from the email that we just sent and all the details you can see like we have mentioned the priority is medium and uh, the subject uh, same as the email subject and the email content will be populated to description this is the standard format and also uh, the other thing was we have mentioned an attachment and let us go to the related list and see like if under attachment we have yes you can see the attachment as part of email got added to the attachment related list so this is how email to case is working like i mentioned there are two types of email to case functionality one is on demand which we just did and the other is standard email to case uh, you have got specific business case in which both should be used and on demand it will keep the email traffic outside your network's firewall and refuse emails larger than 25 MB. But if you need to send emails larger than 25 MB and if it is within your network, you should use email to case functionality. And this one is utilizing a Salesforce Apex email service. But the email to case is utilizing an agent that is downloaded and installed in your local machine. Number of emails converted or possible in each day, is, there is different limit also. For on demand, it's up to number of user license multiplied by 1000 and there is a daily limit also. But email to case daily, we can have maximum 2500 only. For size, like we mentioned, on demand, it should be less than 25 MB. Email to case should be used if you are expecting more than 25 MB. That about email to case functionality, which is going to be a very useful feature when you want to run your support process.